Yo, what's up gamers? Cape Day Zero here with a Transformers unboxing. This time it is of Studio Series Decepticon Rumble Blue. Just for in case people get it mixed up. Frenzy, Rumble, Blue, Red. Yeah, there's a debate on which one's the right one, but I'll go Rumble. That's what the TV had. So Rumble, Blue. So Studio Series from the movie. This is the box. Cool picture on the side. Looks pretty cool here on the back of the box there. And yelling face, core class, barcode. Let's get on to the unboxing. So trusty knife. Assuming that this is where I open it. box instructions cool Rumble. arms power driver extension and this is how you turn him into a cassette so cool now let's undo let's get my trusty snip some sort so you can put it on the background and see how the stamp stood up anyway so here he is accessories and gun zoom in on him a little bit more so here he is looking pretty cool So, so that face. There you go. Let's get, let's get the turn. Looks like it's on a ball joint. Moves back and forth. That's not. Just turns around and moves up and down. Um, and swing full 60. No elbow joints. Although this does move in for transformation reasons. Um, legs can do the splits. Yep. This way. That way. Every way. Excellent. Knees can move on a ball joint so it can spin around like that as well. And the feet can't go any further than this, but obviously closes for transformation gimmick wise. And there he is. Let's have a look at his pile driver. Does that extend? No, it doesn't extend. But there's a pile driver there. Some pretty cool details and obviously painted with two different colours. Next is his two iconic guns. They're in some form of a pearlescent white um, color, plastic, not painted. It would be nice if these were sort of silvery chrome to match the original, right? So, um, plug these in. Iconic rumble. Plug them in. And plug them in. So. Hard, that's fairly tight in there. Um, yeah, so overall, looking pretty cool with his iconic back. Just remember when you're doing this, just to make sure that his shoulder is popped down. You hear it click and it pops down to that part there. Um, yeah, that way it locks in place fairly well. Let's see how he's going to do. Well, he can't really hold onto his gun, can he? Anyway, I can hold onto his gun here. Nope, let's plug it in like that. That's how it's going to hold up his gun. There you go. He can't physically hold his gun. There's nowhere here to actually hold it. So, we'll be in that port there. So, I can see why. Because if they tried to make that 
he's not going to have much of a hand left, is he? So anyway, let's do this, put that back in, and let's see him overall, let's have a good close-up look at him. He does look really good, very good, very good indeed. A bit hollowy around the back, but it's kind of expected, half the need for transformation reasons. So anyway, let's see his pile driver. So for his pile driver, you need to get his arms in, rotate that around, same, get his hand in, rotate that around, grab that, that just plugs in. I don't think there's a left and a right, not totally the same. Correct me if I'm wrong, someone in the comments, if there is a left and a right, I don't think so. So that plugs in, like so, and there he is with the pile driver. So let's get him in a pile driver pose. Get up and so this. Get him down like so. Even further down. Yeah. Okay, typical. So, let's see how he looks, if I did that sort of a crouchy look, let's see how he looks compared with the original Chug Bumble. I, I've got really bad hands, but that's how he looks, it's a lot smaller too isn't he, a lot smaller. Put him next to an MP Rumble. So that's the MP Rumble. A little bit bigger there. Cool. Let's just pull, pull this out. Let's just put this out here. Let's stand him up properly. We can do a proper comparison. Put his hands back out. This one he does need a bit of fingernail to do. So not too bad, but he's quite tight. So it's good. That place. So let's just stand them up properly. So we've got a proper size comparison between them all. Stand them up. In the background. I'll bring up Frenzy or the red version, whatever you want to call him, the MP. So that's how he scales with the original release. Studio series and MP. Now, how does he compare with Ravage? And I'm gonna have to bring this out a little bit so you can see a bit of sound wave. So there you go. Sound wave, laser beak. Chin up boy. That's how he scales with them like so. And while I am here, scaling with Megs. There he is with Megs. And where would I be without one of my favourite Chapter Mainline Primes, Shabby Glass. Right there. Cool comparisons. Masterpiece Ravage. Masterpiece Laser Beak. That is it for the robot comparisons. Okay, so again, let's just quickly compare them up close with the original um, Main Rise release. So I was kind of semi impressed with the way they've done these guys here, um, given the scale and the size they needed to fit. Obviously not happy about these points here, but I thought, you know what, given the size of it, they probably couldn't do any better. Um, and where was I wrong? Because when you look at the detail of this, that just looks so much better. And I'm sure they're going to come out with something that's going to blow me away even more. 
Okay, but for now, let's transform him into cape mode. So first things first, this is a pretty typical cape transformation, turn his head around, pop around the back. So, um, the hands, just pop them in. Um, I normally do this to push it up and press there just to pop that first little bit there. Because once you get the gear, it's going to be a bit hard to pop. Just easy to do this. Press against there and it just pops up. And you can do this. Leave these up a little bit for now. Um, when you're here, rotate the leg. Oops. Yep, like that. Um, it's easier to rotate that now and to bring this up and then try and rotate because the whole leg and then you're sitting there trying to hold that. You still can do it, it's just that it's easier to rotate when it's like that. Bring that up like so, and all you do is you fold it in. And as you said, as I was saying before, it's all hollow in here for a reason, so it can go in like so. So you do that, folds in. So, and you see those two tabs in there? They tab into those arm points there. That's why you had that up a little bit. Oops. Get that in there. Then the feet up and it's all done. So on this side here, it does look a bit gappy. A few gaps here and there. But when you go around this side, it's not too bad. Um, quite reminiscent of the original cassettes. And yeah, there's nothing you can do about that because that does need to be held up. I'm sure that you should say they could do something, but that's the way it is now. And that's not too bad of a cassette if I say so myself. So now, I guess for cassette comparisons, this here is eject, so it's eject, size differences, there are none, exactly the same. Here is the original rumble, that's the cassette there, and already this is looking very G1. This is kind of, you know, the patterns are kind of there. Could have painted a little bit more, would have looked better if this was painted better. Um, but you can see there's less gaps on this version here than there, there is on this. So I think if this was painted better, it may end up looking slightly better. Maybe not that hard there, but if you turn it around, yeah, you go. Nice little face. Yeah, that's what it is there. Um, Right. You can see, a lot better already. Set. And if we compare with the masterpiece, so that's the masterpiece set. Um, obviously, that looks really good. That's like there, that's what you expect on the other side. And size comparisons, it's actually, you know what, not too bad difference wise. It's kind of obviously, the masterpiece is a little bigger. That's the masterpiece cassette. And the question on everyone's mind does he fit inside or glass? So, obviously, that fits. Oops, come. Is here. Hard to fit because of the paint, but oops, can fit, just it's hard to fit paint wise. So, anyway, now can this fit? Should. Yes, it does. Looks better in there too. So, it does fit. I want to see. Okay. Okay, that's a big. Um, seriously? You can't open your arm? Nope. I'm just going to do that for now. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Look at that. Look how good that looks. I love it. Now all they need to do 
is refresh the rest of the line. Right, laser beak, yep. So, there you go, cassettes comparisons. Okay, so, final thoughts. Even beside, you know, aside from the pile driver gimmick, which is pretty cool, this is definitely a way, way better representation than that old version here. You know, this guy here, the more I look at it, obviously, compared to this, that's pretty ordinary. I never thought he looked that bad, but next to him, he looks horrible. So, definitely replacement straight away. They just need to make Frenzy or the red one. Um, and next to Eject, Eject wasn't too bad, in all honesty. Um, so, until they make another version of this and blow me away again, but Eject looks okay. Obviously, height wise is kind of there or thereabouts. Where is this one here? Is, um, yeah, a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger there. And then they really need to have another go at Ravage. Like, that is chunky, pretty ordinary. I've always thought it was ordinary. Got him to complete the set, but ordinary. Laser Beak was too bad. So, but they need to update like this and I'll be happy. But overall thoughts, excellent. If you see it and you're a frenzy person or you need to buy, um, collect the rest of the cassettes, definitely the one to get. You can virtually ignore this one here. Um, completely ignore him if you haven't already got him. Get this, he's really good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, bye.